Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the class. In today's class, we will continue exercise 40, okay, which is in page number 94 of your textbook. Up to question number 4, uh, we have already completed in previous class. Now let's see question number 5. Question number 5 uh, says that which of the following statements are true? Okay, so you have to write whether the statements are true or false that you have to mention. Number A is 3.01, 4.10, 15.93 are like decimals. We have to check whether this is this statement is true or false. Before that, we should know the meaning of like decimals. This what does like decimal mean? Like decimal means the decimal numbers having equal number of digits after the decimal that is towards the right of the decimal well, it is like this uh, you have suppose okay example 3.53 uh, 19.8 uh, 23.0 230.01 something like this the decimal numbers having equal number of digits after the decimal that is towards the right of the decimal see this is the decimal after this you have two digits one and two okay after this decimal you have two digits three and zero okay next after this decimal you have two digits zero and one that means after this after the decimal all these numbers has three digit uh, two digits that means uh, this three numbers are said as it could uh, like decimals okay if there is one more number 15.013 something like this after this decimal you have three digits one two and three zero one three okay three digits so this is not a like decimal in comparison to the above this three decimals okay so you keep a proper note of this May, uh, write it properly okay ha a like decimal means uh, decimal numbers having equal number of digits after the decimal So uh, after this, after the, this decimal, you have two digits, zero and one. You are also after this decimal, you have two digits, one and zero. After this decimal, you have two digits, nine and three. That means all these three numbers has equal number of digits after the decimal. Okay. Hence, it is like decimal. Answer will be true. Number B. Number B, you have 0 0.5. 0 0.5 0 0.05 next 0 0.050 are like decimals are like decimals here after the decimal place you have only one digit here after the decimal place you have two digits here after this decimal after this point you have three digits one digit two digits three digits okay that means unequal number of digits after the decimal place hence it is not or uh, this are not like decimals so th this statement is false statement is false okay number c you have 1.3 1.30 1.300 are equivalent equivalent decimals answer i have already explained the meaning of equivalent decimal in previous video okay again i'll explain you equivalent decimal means the decimal numbers having same value numerical value okay so let's see this decimals will have uh, same numerical value or not 1.3 this you uh, can do in rough okay 
1.3 is equals to if you remove the decimal divided by 10 this decimal is in 10 space okay next you have 1.30 this will be equals to 130 divided by 100 because this decimal is in 100 space units tens and 100 0 0 gets cancelled so 13 by 10 you got okay next the third one is 1.300 this will be equals to 1300 divided by units tens hundred thousand decimal is in thousand space so two zeros gets cancelled you'll get 13 upon 10 13 upon 10 here also 13 upon 10 and here also you have 13 upon 10 that means all these three decimal numbers have same value numerical value hence it is equivalent decimal so statement is true statement is true okay now the last one number d you have 2.41 next 3.50 next 14.01 are like are like decimals so this is your home task you find whether these are like decimals or not okay if they are like decimals then mention it true and if they are unlike decimals then mention it false okay i'll give you a hint here you have two digits after decimal here you have two two digits after decimal here also you have two digits after decimal that means they are uh, like decimals so statement this is true okay now let's move on to another question number six Okay, question number six is convert each of the following groups of unlike decimals to like decimals. You have to convert. Okay, copy the question. You refer your book and copy the question. You have to convert. Number A is 2.3 and 2.54. Conversion to like decimals is equals to you have to convert this uh, two numbers to like decimals. Okay, here you have only one digit after the decimal place. Here you have two digits after the decimal place. So you cannot reduce these two digits into one digit. Whereas this single digit can be converted to two digits by adding zero at the end. Okay. So this will be equals to 2.30 you add one zero at the end comma this you have already two digits 2.54 your two digits here also two digits <coughs> next number b you need to add zero to, uh, on the right hand side okay extreme right side of this point number b is 1.09 and 5 5 next is 2.1 you have three numbers 1.09 so answer conversion conversion to like conversion to like decimals you have two digits here you have only one digit you don't have decimal so you have to add decimal okay now you have one digit after the decimal so maximum you have two digits so you have to convert each and every one to the maximum two digits after decimal okay so 1.09 comma 5.00 5.00 because of you have to put point and you have to go till two, di two digits okay comma next 2.1 is already there so add one zero this becomes equivalent decimals or uh, sorry like decimals okay next number c number 
number C, you have uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 3.8, 1.5, 8, 6. Answer, conversion to, conversion to like decimals is equals to. So you see maximum number of digits after decimal here you have one digit here you have one digit after decimal here you have three digits after decimal that means you have to convert each and every one to three decimal places okay 0 0.5 double zero have to add two zeros okay 3.8 double zero comma 1.586 here three digits after decimal here three digits after decimal here also three digits after decimal that means these are like decimals okay now question number seven your question is arrange the following decimal numbers in ascending order you copy the question okay arrange the following decimal uh, numbers in ascending order so number a is 0 0.853.24.69 .2, you have to arrange this in ascending A S C E N D I N G ascending order. Ascending order means big, sorry, small to big. Small to big. You have to arrange like this. Okay, small to big. Answer in ascending. In ascending order, it will be it will be equals to. This is three point, okay. This is four point. That means uh, uh, among these two, this is bigger. This is 0 0.85. This is 0 0.9. You can add zero here. After decimal, you can add zero, okay. This is 90, 0 0.90, and this is 0 0.85. So, which is uh, smaller? 85 is smaller, or 90 is smaller? Obviously, 85 is smaller, okay. So, smallest one will be 0 0.85 and Second one will be 0 0.99 only. This 0 I have added to explain you. Okay, 0 0.9. 0 0.9 means 0 0.90. 90, okay. Next, third one is 3.2. This is 4 point. 3 is bigger or 4 is bigger. 4 is big, isn't it? So this comes first. 3.2. And ultimately, you will have 4.69. In this way, you have to arrange okay this type of arrangement we have done in uh, previous classes also okay previous exercises also so you try question number seven on your own and question number eight is arrange the following decimal numbers in descending order descending order means big to small okay question number eight i'll uh, teach you one sum 13.04 0 0.59 0 0.876 0 0.876 okay not 76 after decimal you have to read the digits individually 6.3 so you have to arrange this in descending order descending order means big to small answer in descending D E S C E and D I N T descending order will be equals to here you have 13 here you have 0 here you have 0 and here you have 6 so which is the biggest 13 is the biggest so 13.04 comes first after that 6 okay 6.0 uh, 6.3 after that, here 0 0.59, here you have uh, 0 0.876. So 0 0.59 means you can add 0 here, 590. And another is 0 0.876. If you read this part only, then 876, this is 590. So this part is same. Okay. So which is bigger? 876 is bigger. So you have to write this first, 0 0.876. Comma, the last one will be 0 0.59, 59, okay. 
59. So this is how you have to arrange in descending order. So the remaining question is your home task. Question number 7 and 8. You uh, complete it and uh, send it to me. Okay. Today itself uh, you do it. Okay. Thank you.